Just look at this guy. This is not who you wanna be. Hello, hello. Welcome to a video that I really wanted to make, which is going to be a bit of a ramble video. And it is about people that return to old school RuneScape and look like this guy right here. That's not a good gear setup. Uh, this is basically what people back in the days who actually played in 07 thought was really good. Now I'm going to explain in this video why that gear setup is not good at all. It is the dream setup for back in the days as I said, but uh, times have changed. There are other sets of gear and I think a lot of people who come back to the game actually buy that gear with their first money and actually it is kind of cheap. So look at the prices real quick, if I type dragon chain body, this used to be worth millions back in the day, it's only worth 247k now. Why is that? It's because there are way better options, it's kind of annoying to get this item from cattle fight queen, from dust devils, you know all these uh, different ways of getting it is always kind of annoying. And it's still only worth 247k. You can see another guy in the uh, other boat here has that gear. And there's quite a lot of people that I see all the time with that gear, especially at Pest Control. And I feel like Pest Control is one of those areas as well that kind of a lot of new players or returning players go to because they remember it being really good. And it is, for sure. But um, why should you not buy the dragon gear? Well, it requires 60 defense to wear, which is the same as the obsidian gear. Now let's look at the obsidian gear. The obsidian plate body compared to the chain body, it is more expensive. Why is that? Well it's because it gives strength bonus. Strength bonus is vastly more important in this uh, type of landscape in old school runescape because you have this ability right here. The prayer protect for melee, ranged and magic. These give you a 100% damage reduction to whatever you're fighting, pretty much in the game, unless you're doing very specific bosses where they can hit through prayer and stuff like that. But why would you want defensives when you take zero damage all the time anyways? This is why also prayer items are really good. The proselyte gear is way better than the dragon gear. So for example if you're doing slayer or even some bossing sometimes, the proselyte gear is better than the dragon gear. Well, if you don't know what the prayer bonus gear does, it uh, actually gives you a longer period of time you can have these prayer up. If I click the protect from magic, it says on my prayer time remaining 6 minutes and 47 seconds. Now if I turn that off and I unequip the leggings and I turn this on, it is now down, down to only 6 minutes. So it actually extends the time I can have the 100% damage reduction activated. Now is there any time you would actually want the dragon gear? Yes, I would say there are times where the dragon gear is pretty decent because there are bosses like General Grador where you basically protect from range and you have to tank the melee heads. But that is, as I said, a very specific moment and these people are not doing that. I think a lot of people, look at this guy. He has dragon plate body on him and that is like 2 million or something. I think the dragon plate body is vastly more expensive than the obsidian plate body. It is 2.4 million. It only has defensive stats. His damage is not increased at all by having that on. And in the pest control minigame, you don't need defensives. All you have to do is do as much damage as possible. It gives him more experience. If you do more damage, you're going to level faster. It really is not any upsides to having the dragon armor as pest control not at Slayer, there's only really any upside to having the Dragon Gear in places where you're going to take unavoidable damage. Another quick example is the Obsidian Cape. It only gives defensive stats and I see so many people buying this as well. It is a noob trap. It really is. It's an expensive cape and it gives absolutely no offensive stats at all. You're going to be praying anyways, and you're going to get no use out of this defensive stats. It's 536k, and trust me, if you're a returning player, half a million GP, you do not want to spend that on a cape that's basically going to do nothing for you. You're going to want to spend that on getting the obsidian gear, rather than getting the obsidian cape. 
Now I can give a good example of this. My fiance did think that Dragon was the best in slot gear. She did play back in the days and I mean back then having Dragon was really impressive as well as having full rune. I remember 200k full rune, all these things and Dragon was really expensive. If anyone had like a Dragon weapon they were the absolute chads of the game. But that is not really the case anymore. And I think a lot of returning players still believe that Dragon is the best gear in the game. Or maybe that it's still a very good set if you have the money for it. They see that it's lowered in price a lot since they played. It used to be millions. And now the chain body is like 250k. And they think to themselves, well, this is a good stepping stone of gear to buy. And I would say no. Because there's items that require absolutely nothing to wear. Which are 600 GP. Called the Monk Robes. Yes, they are actually better than Dragon in most cases, except if you're doing high level bossing. And even in some cases, the monk robes are better than the dragon gear. Like if you're doing some wilderness bosses like Scorpia, Crazy Archaeologist, the monk robes are actually better. So there are many, many, many cases where the monk robes, because they give prayer bonus that keeps your 100% damage reduction up for longer, are better than dragon. Taking zero damage is undeniably better than getting hit now and then, or a bit less when having dragon. Now why do you want strength bonus and what does it do? Well, strength bonus increases your max hit by 1 for every 4 strength bonus you have. So if you have overall 40 strength bonus on your gear, instead of your max hit being for example 20 with full tank armor with full dragon, you're going to be able to max hit a 30 which is a massive difference and you're going to get higher DPS, you're going to have more kills per hour on whatever you're doing, more slayer kills per hour on your task, you're going to get more experience in combat stats, everything is just way more accelerated. Now with that said, I am going to be linking at the top of my description a link to the RuneScape wiki on every single item in the game that gives a strength bonus. It is divided into capes, helmets, necklaces, all the way through all the different items you can equip. And if the item is on that list, it is a pretty decent item to equip. Of course, this whole discussion is about melee gear. The dragon set is not used for ranged or magic. So all of this is of course only relevant for melee. I think that's everything I have to say though, a bit of a random video, but seeing like 5 people every single game with full dragon at pest control, and also seeing them out in the world now and then, like doing Slayer, I mean, I'm sure you guys who've played the game for a while now have seen those absolute units sometimes, wearing like a dragon two-hander with full dragon just doing a Slayer task, and you know in your heart that that is a returning player or someone who just hasn't really read up on the game much, which is okay. I mean, that person might have more fun than everyone else, but if you're a new player and you want to actually be efficient at the game, you should definitely follow this advice. But with that, I hope you guys who are new to the game or are returning players are going to enjoy your stay in this game. It is a great game. And until next time, guys, take care.